हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप नेम एज सुपर कैम प्लस सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब यू वॉट इज सुपर कैम प्लस एंड वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन आफ्टर दैट विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू डाउनलोड ऑन यूर मोबाइल फोन एंड हाउ यू कन्फिगर दैम टू मेक द कैमरा लाइफ and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel so let's start what is super cam plus app super cam plus app is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet and as far as its feature and function con is concerned by using this app you are able to view live view of the camera you are able to see the live view of the camera you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc and you can take the backup of the recorded videos and many more now to install the app basically this is app this app is designed and developed by tvt tvt is a one of the major cctv country cctv company manufacturer so for installing this app you should open play store and search for super cam plus and after that you find on the top of the list super cam plus by senzen tvt digital technology just click on this and after that you should wait for a few minute to completely download the super cam plus and once it is successfully download then it, then it start installing and after that it it will start scanning whether it is a secure app or not once it, once it is you find that it is secure then you should find the option open so let complete the entire process now it is start installing now you find that this app is safe and just click on open when you click on open this is the interface of the app the first thing you should do you should click on the top left corner like this here it asks for a login so i i not log in because i make a video just only for education tutorial purpose so, to, so i don't want to waste time by logging in so just i click on whatever the option which is which is important so just click on the server list and after that click on the right top corner three dot button just click on this here and after that you find a lot of option like manually add scan code lens search generate device sort by name so basically if you are in front of the device then you should click on the scan qr code okay or if someone sends you that qr code then you should also click and access the gallery of your mobile phone like this okay so this qr code where you get this qr code so when you log in your device you should go to the setting option then go to the network option then try to op find the option net then tick net when you tick net you find a qr code scan that qr code 
that serial number come automatically here and you find the second option is third option is LAN search when your mobile device and your DVR is both connected in the same network then you should click on the LAN search okay and another option you find that manually add now click on manually add and after that you find that two options serial number and IP domain serial number is the number which you find under the net option and IP domain is the local IP address or a static IP address so in my case I have a serial number so I just go with serial number just click just click on the serial number and here I enter my serial number And in device name you can put anything like any anything which you usually rem remember please note that username and password both is of device device means device you are adding DVR NVR whatever you are adding so please don't be confused here Just click save and wait for a few minute or a few seconds. It totally depends on the internet speed at your end and, and device locations. When it is come online, you see that uh, you got the model number like TD3116B2. Okay, and that signal turns screen. The first thing you should do, you should click on the play button like this. Okay, so. Just double click any any option and in this way you switch the camera now what 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 should you do I will tell you the option all the option is starting from the bottom right first option is three dot button just click on that and here you find that option like manual alarm add notifications so by using this app this option you can if your uh, AI feature if, if your camera or NVR has have, have AI feature like uh, face recognition ANPR camera then by using this option you are able to search of ANPR camera and face recognition camera okay and after that you find the play button so just click on the play button which will redirect you to a recording page for example when you do this you find that it goes to recording page okay for example uh, in these days you have a recording okay so if i want to check uh, of recording of 11 just click on this and i want to check the recording at 4 4 a.m early morning just click on 4 and now it will show me a recording of 4 a.m okay so in this way you can check the recording and if you want to switch the camera you can switch the camera like this okay so in this way you can check the recording of the camera and again just back now you find the four square button just click on this by using this option you can change the view of the camera like this okay and after that you find the option like uh, mic um, speaker button just click on the speaker button by using this you are able to hear the voice of the camera if your camera is audio enabled okay and after that you find the option mic mic option the, just click on the mic if your device is audio enabled uh, if your device is intercom supported then you use this option okay hello hello In this view you can communicate with your device now starting from the here you find the in in middle of the screen test device and after that you find a number one two three just click on that when you click on this you find the camera name if you rename the camera like Porsche camera or gate camera then you 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 easily navigate between between the camera 
you can easily change the camera like this okay so just drop down this now just double click any cam like this and tap sing and single tap on the cam screen and here you find the i button i option just click on that i option you find the two option low definition super definition just click on the super definition when you do this your camera become more clearer very clearer but you your you it 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 not run in a smooth manner okay and after again single click on single tap on the camera and you want to take screenshot just click on the screenshot option in this way you can change take the screenshot again single tap of the camera and if you want to live record of the camera just click on this and click on the recording okay like this is it it start recording and if you want to stop the recording just click on the it again just click on that it your recording has been stopped and it is saved now after that we'll tell you some more option like just click on the left corner and just and the click and the click on the remote setting when you do this and just click on the test device and just wait for a few second it will take time by using this option you are able to change the date time you are able to you are you are able to change the check the recording capacity of your device you can change the ip of the camera and many more you can add the user for example if you want to check the camera how many cameras there edit camera you can add the camera okay and when you click on the record just click on the record by you can by here you can change the encoding parameters for example frame rate etc this this all are advanced level things but i will tell you that how you can change the things okay for example if you want, if you want to change the view record status just click on this it will take time and it will it will show you that is record status like how many in which frame rate the camera start recording like this okay just back it again and if you want to check the disk just click on the disk and smart information just click on the smart informations when you do this you are able to see that your disk serial number your disk model your disk temperature and all the things okay again click on the smart op option okay you you are able to see that what how your record is going on okay Ab you, when you click on the view this informations you are able to view that how much capacity and how what is the dead time period how many days it will record this how many free how much free space is there so it will show everything okay and if you if you want to change the date time and all then you can you, by this you can change the see the date time and also change the date time okay if you want to sync sync with your cell phone just click on this it will sync with your phone okay and if you want to see the log this option is very enabled for example when somebody logged in when when somebody check the recording of the camera when the camera goes offline all the things comes here okay so all the things come here so if you come if you want to complain the your service provider and you it it as yes, there is some confusion then you can check the record of view log log of the camera okay and if you if you see the network setting like what is your tcp ip address means what is your nvr ip address like in my case uh, my ip address is 1.234 so you, you can check all the things here you find the net option like here this is the qr code so in this way you can check the all the things related to your nvr and account and authority is the option where you find how to edit user how to add user and many more so hope you like our video thanks for watching thank you have a nice day